Hey everybody, this is Ray, and today I wanted to start off by showing you the absolute basics of iMovie by showing you how to install it. Now, if you just purchased your Mac, it may already be installed, so you may not have to go through this process, but if you're upgrading or if you're buying it for the first time, you're going to need to install it into your system. So all you're going to have to do is stick your disk into your disk drive, which I can't show on a screen capture, but I'm sure you can figure that part out. Uh, once you do, you're going to see an icon. Yours may look like a disk. Mine is an archive, not an actual disk. But it should say iLife 11 install DVD. And inside your finder window, you'll also see it right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to either double click the disk icon here or just go into it through finder. And you're going to click on and double click install iLife. And you'll see the installer window will pop up and give you some information about the upgrades. Just hit continue, continue, go to the software agreement, assuming that you agree with it, hit agree. Got your install location here, just hit install. It'll ask you for your password, which fortunately you can't see. And it'll go through the process of installing iLife. Okay, so after a period of time, you'll see installation was successful, hopefully. And you can just simply hit close on that. And now, if you go to your Applications folder, and you scroll all the way down into the Eyes, you will see iMovie. And also, it should have placed it into your dock right here, somewhere in the dock. Now, let me just delete that for one moment. If it did not place it in your dock and you want to have it in your dock, simply grab iMovie app, drag it down, and place it into your dock. And now it'll be there for when you want to open it. So you can simply either double click on iMovie up here or click on it in the dock. Now after a few moments, iMovie will open up and you'll have a clean slate here. Now, it may automatically ask you about templates, but if it doesn't, and you hit File, New Project, you'll see this window will come up, and this will allow you to give a name to your new project. In this case, we'll just continue to call it New Project, and it'll give you the opportunity to choose a template um, for your project. So in this case, you might choose the photo album, and what that'll do is that will just give you, as you can see in the demo here, just some transitions and some titling and some opens that will uh, just spruce up your video a little bit and all you have to do is hit create and once your project is open you'll be able to import your video or capture it and if we hit the button here you will see the transitions and the themes for the photo album are right at the top here and we'll get into greater detail about the themes in a later video, and this just shows you how to install and open your app for the first time. 